grateful Adelaide Hills locals have been buoyed by the tour down under as it raced through fire affected communities. The world watching as riders made their way from the Barossa to Campbelltown and a South Australian claimed victory. The black heart of the fire ground brought back to life by the tour down under. Well, they're looking around, they're going to see what, what utter devastation there is here at the, the top of the climb. The world's best cyclists weave their way through our bushfire ravaged Adelaide Hills. I reckon it's the best thing that could happen to Kirstwood. Um, I get very emotional about the town because I've been here 15 years. These eerie pictures beamed around the world. It's a triumph of sorts for locals who've suffered so much. I think a house behind us has gone over the hill there, but yeah, it's great that everyone's come out here just to support the communities. At the Tanunda start line, the fan favourite was obvious. Thank you very much. Cadell Evans signing on for his last World Tour race. We have to enjoy it as well. I want to go out. More, more important to go out happy than, uh, than unhappy with not getting the ultimate results. Plenty would love to see him achieve that. Sentimental favourite. Yeah, I hope he has a great race. Everyone's been very, very supportive of me, so I can't complain about that. But he has a tough field to beat. The peloton lapping the Barossa wine region twice, then heading into the hills. 104 kilometres into the journey presented the first climbing test for riders and the first look at the bushfire's devastation. These guys now approach the fire-ravaged area of the Adelaide Hills. Local boy Jack Bobridge leading the charge up Checker Hill Road. Just days ago there were concerns that this area was still too dangerous to ride through. The fact that tour organisers and emergency crews have been able to make this happen means so much to the local communities. Let people see just how bad it was, like uh, the fires, like and everything. Like, and I mean, let's face it. I mean, when you look at it, over the hills and everything, it's it's been horrendous. Many donating money to CFS units who worked so hard. Just the support we're getting from people that we've never met—it's amazing. We're, we're so thankful. Yeah. Also amazing was Jack Bobridge's gutsy descent to the finish, holding off the peloton to win the opening stage. Yes, incredible pictures there. Reporter Eddie Godfrey is live at the Tour Village. Now, Eddie, the riders are going to compete in an even longer stage tomorrow. Yeah, they will, Brenton. Tomorrow's stage is a touch over 150 kilometres. The riders will leave Unley at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning and head up into the hills. And it is a ripper stage because they'll loop around Harndorf a separate, several times and then head down to Stirling and loop around there a few times before finishing. So it's always a very popular stage for spectators. You can head down there with the family or with some mates, find a shady spot and just watch them go around for hours. So a very exciting stage tomorrow and one we're all very much looking forward to.